Well, as you can definitely see, dinner is served and served beautifully here at Blum Brumley's <laughs> restaurant inside the General Morgan Inn. We are back now with executive chef Jordan Green, who has been working this morning definitely <laughs> yeah. for us. Look at these yeah. beautiful dishes. Well, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, everything I wish you could smell at home because mm -hmm. you need to sit in my chair so you can smell all these amazing yeah. fall flavors, yeah. different things Got coming the pumpkin through. Pumpkin spice, the truffle hitting, just everything everywhere. So <sighs> Yeah, so okay. I don't know where to start. So I'm gonna let you, Chef, go ahead and start okay. with one of your new menu items. Well, let's start off with dessert because everybody's got a sweet tooth. <laughs> okay, I like the <laughs> yeah. way you think. Um, we've got a, uh, this is just a caramel apple bread pudding that has a little bit of a maple glaze. And then you've got, of course, the fresh apple on top. We drizzle some bourbon caramel on there. So you actually get the aesthetic of eating a caramel apple oh. at the same time, which that's just a nice brioche. Uh, bread and that bread pudding there. And the way you serve everything, I mean, the mm. presentation on that dessert. And I love how you said, well, that's just, uh, right. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a million different yeah. things going on in there. And of course, you guys are known for your bread pudding mm. and adding that extra flair. Right. Well, I mean, I've, I've always been into the aesthetic of height. You know, I mean, as you can, can see tell. here, this, yes. is, this is the pork shank here, which is just a slow braised pork shank. It has wild mushrooms. It's a truffle sweet potato gnocchi, some sautéed uh, spinach with uh, crispy garlic, and then a nice natural pork jus on there. So, oh, wow. I mean, and that's just fall off the bone. Everybody could say, you know, that could feed three or four people, but I've seen a few people already clean that plate by themselves. So, yeah, once you <laughs> yeah. have that first bite, yeah. you're like, never mind what I said, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And you said that just literally falls apart. It does. It falls right off the bone. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then up here, mm -hmm. beautiful. Look at all the flavors going on yeah, here. Yeah, those are our Kelly Gap lamb chops, which uh, Kelly Gap is out in Camp Creek, so named after a nice little local area. Area. That's where the south wind starts blowing in. So, really, in Greene County, that's going to be really your first taste of fall is Kelly Gap. So, uh, you've got a nice little lamb chop here seared with a little juniper berry in there just to give it even more of like a pine flavor. Okay. Some smoked parsnip puree. You've got a barbecue jus just to sweeten it up. And a little bit of wild mushrooms, a little bit of uh, roasted parsnips, or not parsnips, but turnips, and a little bit of a uh, candied uh, red pepper jam. And I don't know if you can see just all the detail that goes into the dish, mm. but just to kind of turn it a little bit so you can see kind of what's on the yeah, other that, side. That's I mean, what we're going for is the layers of flavor, really. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, so much going on Absolutely. inside that one dish. And you can tell that meat done very slowly. Mm. It looks like it just, again, pulls apart. Yeah, and, and everybody, they like to ask the question, uh, so how do I eat that? You just dive <laughs> right in. Yeah. You, <laughs> you just dive right in, you know. You, you eat commit. It. Yeah. Just However you are comfortable eating, that's how we welcome you to eat. So yeah. no judging. No so judging ju whatsoever. Judge me free zone. I mean, if you pick those things up by the bone and start gnawing <laughs> on them, I mean, that, that's all right by they'll, me. They'll even bring you another napkin, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might even have some wet naps somewhere. Oh, so. oh, I love it. Yeah, here, here is our little play. I don't know if you all have ever heard of the brown, uh, Kentucky Hot Brown sandwich. Oh, yes. It was big at the uh, uh, Brown Hotel in Kentucky. This is our little version of it. So a hot brown typically just has a regular Mornay and fresh red plump tomatoes. So what we did is took a spin on that and did some fried green tomatoes, a Borson Mornay, some candied bacon, some roasted turkey that we roast every day and slice by hand. It's not sandwich meat. So, and then you've got that paired with some good uh, porch fries. And this bread here is a good thick cut wheat berry bread. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's a knife and fork sandwich for sure. <laughs> yes, most <laughs> yeah. definitely. Yeah. And the fries, these mm -hmm. porch fries, yeah. which have a special place in your Absolutely. heart. Absolutely. My gang and Peppa, I'll, I'll say their names all day long and just it brings a smile to my face. So, just remembering them sitting on the porch cutting the fries and uh, that, that just brings back all the memories. So, to be able to deliver that to the public and uh, have that sense of nostalgia, you know, that really touches deep within everybody and their roots and their family around this area. I think uh, it, it's it's a nice spot. Yeah, yeah. such a sweet story. Yeah. And of course, when you brought that out, I couldn't help but you know pick just a yeah. couple so I could <laughs> yeah. try them and the seasoning on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a little bit of a, a little bit of a play off of um, I guess like a Lowry seasoning or something okay. uh, with a little smoked paprika. You've got some turbinado sugar in there, some salt, a little garlic, a little onion. So it's not just salt on your fries. No, yeah. no, there's a lot going on there too. Mm -hmm. And then over here. 
Bromley's known mm -hmm. for their creme brulee. You, yep. you just have to have the dessert. And I love that you did your banana pudding, which mm -hmm. was also one of Gan Gan's, I yep. understand. Absolutely, yep. That was my Gan Gan's recipe. And now uh, this kind of brings me to my mom uh, okay. because I'm not a real big fan of pumpkin pie myself unless you pop a lot of uh, whipped topping on there. But my mom used to make it was like a little little thin layer of cheesecake with the pumpkin pie on top. So anytime you have like cream and uh, pumpkin pie together, that's what I really go for. So this is our pumpkin creme brulee. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. And it's just right here within my yeah. reach. So I might just have to yeah. try a little bite. <laughs> So as people are looking over this fall mm -hmm. menu, you sort of have a, a lot of different themes going on Absolutely. here, really bringing in different flavor profiles. What's that like for you? It's a pure excitement for me. I mean, like I was saying earlier, I love to put bourbons, you know, pair, pair different flavors from this region. You know, you've got a little bit of a bourbon gravy in here. This is a bison chopstick. So, I mean, you get chops, you can go around and get chopstick pretty much anywhere here. But this is made with uh, bison. You've got the wild mushrooms. Roasted garlic mashed potatoes, bourbon gravy, and of course southern style green beans oh with crispy goodness. bacon. You can't beat that. That so. creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Oh yum. Oh you it like is that? a must. <laughs> yes. You always have to save room for dessert. There is Perfect. always some room just right over here. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And we've got to go boxes too. So, <laughs> so you can take a little yeah, home with you. Absolutely. Wonderful and open for dinner Tuesday through Saturday. Yep. Tuesday and they've got special yeah. burger night and prime rib night. Yeah, on the prime weekends. rib night's been going so well. So. Mm. It is such an experience to come and just enjoy dinner and all these different flavors. Chef Green, thank you so much thank for hosting you. us today. I appreciate you. Mm. It's my pleasure. Wonderful. You don't even need to make a reservation. Just come and enjoy dinner here at mm -hmm. Brumley's at the historic General Morgan Inn right here in downtown Greenville.